Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat mga kabayan at kaibigan For this video, sasagutin po natin ang tanong ninyo Paano ba or kailan po ba uh, magpapaswap test? Hi mga kabayan at kaibigan and welcome to my channel. Ako po ay si Jamie Iris at welcome sa aking channel na Jamie Iris Talk TV kung saan pag-uusapan po natin ang mga bagay na mahahalaga sa inyo bilang mga Pinoy, bilang mga kabayan at syempre mga balikbayan na pabalik po sa Pilipinas. At syempre kung kayo ay OFW, batid ko, alam ko po na kayo ay excited makauwi sa Pilipinas pero... May ilan po kayong mga katanungan sa inyong pag-uwi, katulad ng pinakamataas po at masasabi ko talaga pong frequently asked question is that, Miss Jamie, yung 48 hours na swab testing na kailangan namin kunin before we actually fly to the Philippines, when do we have to take the swab test? Kailan pa po namin uh, kailangan kunin ito anong oras, anong araw, medyo nalilito po kami kasi ganito yung flight namin. So may direct flight, may multiple flight, di ba? Meron pa pong uh, maraming ano po, uh, mga uh, layover po. So we will take a look at that today. So if this is your first time to watch my channel, welcome. This is a channel wherein we answer your queries sa inyong mga frequently asked questions related sa travel. At gayon din po sa ibang episode natin, you can And also ask me from the comment box and I will do my best to give you the answer to your questions. Now, sa araw na ito, we'll just simply focus on that one question so that at least we could actually help you out and you can compute correctly paano pa at kailan kakailangan magpa-swap test. If this is your first time to watch my video or visit this channel, I'm inviting you to please subscribe to my channel. And at the same time, welcome back to all of our subscribers. Now, let us just take a look and answer your question. So, ang tanong, when is the best time for you to actually take your swab test para makapag-present po kayo ng negative RT-PCR test sa airport. So, tingnan po muna natin ano ba yung protocol so that at least I could explain this to you very clearly at maliwanagan po uh, kayo kung sakasakaling andun yung confusion. Kasi mas humaba pa po yung protocol nating latest regarding this one. So, simulan po natin entry requirements para sa Pilipinas, sa mga Filipinos, uh, balikbayan, non-OFWs, ganun din po sa mga foreigners. So, sinap po dito na taken within 48 hours prior to the date and time of departure from the country of origin or first port of embarkation in a continuous travel to the Philippines excluding layovers. Now, provided that you, as the traveler, you will not be leaving the airport premises when you go for transit and you have not been admitted into another country after you have flown from your point of origin during your lay over. So again, uh, the first word that I want you to take a look at is the word within 48 hours. So it doesn't mean po na saktong-sakto na kailangan yung magpa-take ng RT-PCR test na saktong 48 hours. Hindi po. Yung salitang within, it means that maari po doon sa span ng time na yon, maari po kayong magpa-take po ng uh, inyong RT-PCR test bago kayo lumipad from your country of origin or the first port of embarkation. Hindi kasama or hindi kinocompute ang layover. Ngayon, madalas, ito po yung uh, kumbaga, what confuses a lot of travelers, whatever nationalities it may be, mga Pinoy, katulad po natin, or mga foreigners. By the way, Everyone, I'll be creating. Also, I have, I will be having another video that is in English. So, if you have foreign uh, friends or foreign uh, tourists na gusto bumisit sa Pilipinas, paki refer lang po yung isang video ko na same topic po pero it will be full English. Now, I'll give you some examples so that at least it will be easier for you at pwede nyo pong maikumpara sa inyong flight. So let us just take a look. I have three examples for you. So the first example that I'll have is for the direct flight. The second example will be 
if you will have a transit or layover and yung pangatlo naman ay multiple flights or within a local or sa inyong uh, kumbaga bansa kung saan po kayo naroon. So, tingnan po muna natin. Example, direct flight. When can you have your swab test taken? Ang flight nyo po, ang pag-alis nyo sa Dubai Airport, example lang po ito, the UAE, ang schedule ng departure nyo po. At dito ang port of origin, dito kayo nagtatrabaho, dito kayo residente, dito kayo nakatira. Okay? So, Ang estimated time of departure po ninyo ay February 25, 2022 at 3 p.m. At dating nyo sa Pilipinas naman ay estimated time of arrival will be February 26, 2022, 1.35 a.m. So, kailan ka magpapaswap test? So, ganito po yan. So, ang tanong... Saan ka magbabase ng 48 hours? So, we will be basing it noon, February 25, 2022 at hindi po sa arrival ninyo sa Pilipinas. Kinakailangan po from your flight departure from your port of origin or kung saan ka po manggagaling. So, yan po ay Dubai Airport, estimated time of departure, February 25, 2002, 3 p.m. So, paano po tayo mag-compute? Ganito po. So, bilang po tayo ng dalawang araw, kasi ang 48 hours is equivalent po sa dalawang araw. So, bilang po tayo February 25, so that will be minus 2 days, that will become February 23, 2022. Ang, ang swap testing po natin ay hour sensitive. When we say hour sensitive, kasi 48 hours, hindi nila sinabi na 2 days before your flight. Ang sinabi po nila 48 hours before your flight. So, ibig sabihin po nito, kinoconsider po nila yung time. So, kung 3 p.m. ang iyong departure, dapat 3 p.m. din ng February 23, 2022, pwedeng magsimula na po ang bilang or kung pwede, kailan ka pwede magpa-swap test. Not earlier, but it can be onwards. Example po, Ang swab testing po can be taken within 48 hours before the flight from the port of origin. So let me further explain. Ano po bang ibig sabihin ng within 48 hours from the time of your departure or your flight departure? Ang ibig sabihin po nito from February 23, 2022, hindi po naman eksakto lang o hindi naman po kinakailang eksaktong 3 p.m. po kayo magpa-swap test. Pwede naman po within that time lapse po or tinatawag po natin timeline, kayo magpa-swap test. Halimbawa po, pwedeng 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m. or even 8 p.m. po. As long as bukas po yung swap testing center at tatanungin nyo po sa kanila if makukuha nyo po yung resulta uh, ano, what is the earliest time? So, tanong nyo po sa kanila, what is the earliest time that I could actually uh, get the result or my result will be released for this swap testing? Kapag swak naman po yun or kumbaga pasok, several hours before your flight, then okay na po yun. Hindi nyo na kailangan uh, kumbaga makiusap uh, sa kanila dahil lalapas naman ito ng maaga. Tanda Ninyo. Bakit kinakailangan mas maaga or several hours before your flight? Kasi po, dun sa ating One Health Pass or online registration form that you are mandatorily required to complete, kinakailangan nyo pong i-upload ang copy ng negative RT-PCR test result. At please, pag kinumpleto nyo po yung pangalawa na tinatawag po natin EHDC. Anyway, mga kaibigan at kabayan, pag-usapan po natin yan dun sa aking tutorial for One Health Pass. Ngayon po, Concentrate natin at mag-focus po tayo pag-usapan ano po ba yung ibig sabihin ng 48-hour na swab testing. So, yun po mga kabayan, as long as you can get and you can claim the swab test negative result within several hours po, within 48 hours, several hours before your flight, okay po tayo dyan at uh, pasok po yan. Ngayon, hindi po binibilang ang number ng oras po or numero ng oras ninyo Ah, for example, meron pong ibang nagtatanong, Miss Jamie, so hindi ko ibabasi yan hanggang yung flight ng Pilipinas, hindi mo nabibilangin yon. Walang sinabi sa protocol na bibilangin mo yung number of hours ng travel mo sa Manila, hindi counted yon. Basta, ang counted lang is within 48 hours bago ka lumipad from your port of origin. And in this, in this example, mula ka, manggagaling ka, nagtatrabaho ka sa UAE. So, yung estimate time of departure mo from Dubai International Airport, yun yung ating take into consideration. So, I hope that's clear everyone and looking forward that helped you na clarify lesson din po ang mga confusion.
out kung ang biyahe mo naman ay may layover, may transit or stopover. Saan ka magbabase ng batayan ng iyong date and time for your swab testing? Alamin po natin. So kung sakasakali pong meron kayong layover, stopover or transit flight, tandaan po natin layover means it is a stop that it last uh, less than 24 hours. Kung may stopover naman po kayo, it lasts more than 24 hours, 24 hours or more po. Ang transit naman ay simple po ang ibig sabihin nito ay ang pagbalik ninyo dun sa same airplane po na sinakyan ninyo from your port of origin papunta po doon sa inyong layover or transit country. At pagkatapos nun, lilipad na po kayo pabalik sa Pilipinas. Now, kung sakasakali po, kayo ay lilipad sa Pilipinas at kayo ay may layover. Let us just say, same example po. Mula sa Dubai International Airport sa UAE, ang estimated time of departure po ninyo ay on February 25, 2022 at 3pm. At ikaw ay may layover or transit sa Hong Kong Airport. Ngayon po, ang iyong pagdating nyo po sa Hong Kong, ang lipad nyo po muli papunta sa Pilipinas naman po ay February 26, 2022 4am naman po at darating kayo sa Naiya Terminal 1 ng February 26, 2022 ng 8.35am. Ang tanong, saan mo ibabase or where, where will you base when you can have your swab test taken. Yan ba ay sa flight mo from Dubai Airport or sa flight mo sa Hong Kong Airport? Binibilang pa ba? May ibang nagtatanong sa akin, Miss Jamie, pagdating ko ng Pilipinas, lampas ng 24 hours. Binibilang ba ang travel time papunta ng Pilipinas? Sagutin po natin yan. Unang sagot, ibabase niyo po yan sa Dubai Airport or in Dubai International Airport date and time of departure. So, ibabase po natin sa February 25, 2022, 3 p.m. Hindi counted ang layover hours at hindi counted ang travel time pa uwi ng Pilipinas. Only base it kung saan po kayo galing na port of origin at dito sa example po natin, Dubai International Airport. Minus two days, uh, that will be February 23, 2022, 3 p.m. onwards, you can already have your swap test taken. So, pareho pa rin po nung kanina. Again, hindi naman po kailangan saktong 3 p.m. Pwede naman po within 48 hours kasi sometimes nade-delay pa po ang flight. So, pwede yung 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 8 p.m. Hanggang bukas po yung swap testing center, wag nyo na pong apaabuti ng kinabukasan. The earliest that you can actually, you know, have your swap test taken within that span of hour, have it taken para mas mabilis po ang paglabas ng inyong resulta. Now, bago po kayo umalis dun sa swap testing center, pakisiguro lang po that they can release your result before you actually fly ka at least po several hours. Bakit several hours? Hours. Ang tanungin nyo na po sa kanila, ano po yung pinakamaaga na pwede ko pong makuha ang swab test result? The earlier, the better. Kasi po, kinakailangan nyo pang i-upload yan sa one health pass, step number two. Ano pa yung one health pass? Pag-uusapan po natin yan sa isa pa pong video natin. Hindi po natin ito pag-uusapan sa ngayon. Pero ito po yung online registration form na kinakailangan mo rin ikompleto kasi makakakuha ka doon ng QR code. Na kinakailangan mong i-upload, ito pong sinasabi natin na negative RT-PCR result. So the earlier you can get it from the swab testing center, the better po. So, yan po kung may flight po kayo na may layover, stopover, or transit flight. Now, ang tanong, Jamie, paano ako? Galing ako sa ibang isa, isang bansa wherein I will have multiple local flights. Nalilito ako, hindi ko alam kung saan ko ibabase ang, uh, kumbaga, when I will have the swab test taken. So, Kung sakasakali po meron po kayong multiple local flights, kailan ito nangyayari? If you will be traveling from a very big country at where you are actually staying is within the locality or doon mismo po sa lugar ng bansang yun, pero nasa loob ka at kinakailangan mo bago ka makarating doon sa international flight pa ng Pilipinas, may ilang biyahe ka na pagdadaanan gaya ng Canada, maari din po ng USA or kung hindi naman po kaya ng Saudi Arabia. Sa so example po natin ngayon, we have Canada. So example, nakatira ka sa Quebec. 
So, from Quebec Airport para makapunta ka sa Vancouver International Airport, dadaan ka muna ng Toronto Airport. So, from Quebec Airport, lilipad ka February 26, 2022, 11 a.m., papunta sa Toronto Airport. Uh, pagdating mo naman sa Toronto Airport, stay ka lang ng few hours, then lipad ka na naman. That will be February 26, 2022, 3 p.m. At finally, palipad ka na sa Vancouver Airport. At pagdating mo sa Vancouver Airport, stay ka lang ng ilang oras at lipad ka na patungo diretso sa Pilipinas from February 26, 2022, 11 p.m. Ang tanong... Jamie, saan ko ibabase dito ang 48 hours ng swab testing ko? So, ganito po yan. Tandaan po natin, balikan lang po natin yung protocol. Tingnan po natin dito. Sinasabi na departure from the... So, 48 hours means you have to take it within 48 hours from your departure from the country of your origin or first port of embarkation in a continuous travel to the Philippines. So, ibig sabihin po niyan, maari ninyo na po siyang itik, yung dun sa flight po, ibabasa niyo po siya dun sa flight niyo for the international flight traveling to the Philippines. Kasi ang Quebec naman, like if Quebec flight mo, papunta yun ng Toronto, Toronto papunta ng Vancouver, within Canada pa rin yan. Hindi naman yan nilipad ng papunta ng Pilipinas, diretso. So, babasihan mo yung flight mo from Vancouver International Airport. So, ibig sabihin, for this example, February 26, 2022, 11 p.m. po ang lipad papunta mula sa Vancouver International Airport to Naiya Terminal 1. So therefore, for minus 2 days po tayo, that will be February 24, i-consider po natin yung time, that will be 11 p.m. onwards. Now, in this situation, compared to the other examples natin sa example A at example B, itong example C po natin, 11 p.m. ang flight. Now, nangyayari po to, marami po itong mga viewers natin, talagang gabing-gabi na po ang flight nila. So, kailan ka pwede magpa-RT-PCR test result? Usually, it will start yung window where you can have the swab test taken is within 11 p.m. onwards. Pero madalas, sarado na ang swab testing area ng 11 p.m., 12 midnight, at madaling araw, magbubukas ito ng umaga na, pwedeng 6 a.m., 7 a.m., ng next day. So, can I have my swab test taken on those days, Jamie? Or kay, pwede na ako magpatik habang bukas yung swab testing center ng February 24? So, ganito, kinakailangan ka magpatik ng swab test mo by February 25 uh, kumbaga, 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. or 8 a.m., siguraduhin mo lang, sabihin mo sa kanila na kailangan mo ito as your entry requirement sa pagtatravel mo sa Pilipinas. At katulad ng tanong natin kanina, tanongin nyo sila, ano po ang pinakamaaga, when is the earliest can I get this swab test result or the swab test result? Kapag binigay na po nila yung uh, po, kung mga pinakamaaga, then that's quite great. At least you have several hours before your flight. Bakit hindi pwedeng mas maaga sa February 24, 11 p.m.? Eh, Jamie, sarado na sila ng 11 p.m. Di pwede ko nang itake yan ng February uh, 24, at least mga 6 p.m. or 8 p.m. Kasi sarado na sila by that time. Pwede pa daw naman ganong oras. Hindi po pwede po kasi... Uh, bukas man sila at magsasara, magsasara sila ng ganung araw, that will be more than 48 hours po. Kasi yung start ng counting ng oras ninyo ay 11 p.m. pa lang po. So, dapat 11 p.m. onwards at hindi po pabalik ang counting ng oras. That will be more than 48 hours na hindi po tatanggapin sa airport. So, yun po mga kabayan. Hoping that this helped you understand better kung kailan po kayo pwede magpa-swap test. So, again, for this example, February 24, pwede ka 11 p.m. onwards or February 25, 6 a.m. Again, 7 a.m., 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. Just make sure na makukuha mong resulta several hours before your flight. So, yan po mga kabayan at kaibigan. Yan po ang mga examples po natin regarding kailan ba at paano ba yung within 48 hours swab testing bago lumipad sa Pilipinas. So, yan po ang sagot natin. Looking forward na nakatulong po ito sa...
If this video had helped you everyone, please click like and I'm inviting you to please subscribe to my channel so that you'll get updated with the latest travel guidelines. Ganon din po ng mga katanungan na sinasagot ko po regarding travel protocols. At syempre, marami pa po tayong mga videos na gagawin para lamang sa inyo na makakatulong to give you information, to equip you, and to inspire you even. At muli po mga kabayan, looking forward, alam nyo na po ngayon whether lilipad po kayo sa Pilipinas, direct flight, may layover or transit, or kaya may multiple local flights, now you know when can you have your swab test taken. With that, everyone, this is Jamie Iris of Jamie Iris Talk TV simply saying, may God bless you, stay safe, stay healthy, lagi niyo pong pagkakatandaan, saan man po dako ng mundo, taas noo, tayo po'y mga Filipino. May God bless you and see you in my next video.